So this this is a video for an assembly problem in the CSWA. I got these um, I got this pra practice exam. I don't know it's from Goodhart Wilcox, and I'm going to show you how to create this screw jack. I'm going to show you every step that you need to do. So the first thing you're going to probably have to do that I'm not going to cover in the video is you're going to have to model each of these parts. Um, so you'd model each of these parts and you'd put them in a folder and here you go. I might even give you a link that you can download this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go File, New, Assembly, OK. The first part that you would bring in in this, you could bring in any of these, that's not really true, but you could bring in a base, start with a base, or you could start with a shaft. Really, the shaft is the way to go. If you read this carefully, it says hit OK to locate it at the origin, which I'm going to do. You should do that, and then you should check it. This part is now fixed, and you can see there, there's an F right here. I can right-click on this, and I could hit float, and it will float. These parts are the assembly planes. I'm going to turn those on. I right click and I hit the eyeball. You still can't see them because I have like a ma an override here. If I go to view, show, planes, you can see these three planes like so. Okay, these are the assembly planes. If I click on the front here, that is the part plane, and that lines up with the front plane, and the top lines up with the top, and the right lines up with the right. So this is a good start. The next thing I'm going to do is a lot of people, they will throw all these parts in at one go, and I'm just going to concentrate on putting in two of these uh, pivots. Now, let me, let me do that again. I'm going to hit the delete and I'm going to do it again. Insert components, pivot, and I'm going to hit this pin here. I'm going to put one there and one there, and I press escape. I'm done. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this face on this face, and what it automatically does is a concentric mate, and I go OK. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to see that it slides back and forth like it's supposed to. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a mate between this and this. Automatically selects a concentric mate and I go OK. If you mess up and you put in the wrong mate, it's no worries. You come over here to the left hand side and you can delete these mates. OK, you can click on one and it actually tells you the colors, what it's actually doing. So what I'm going to do now is I click on this part. And I'm going to mate the front plane, the part front plane, with the assembly front plane. And I'm going to go OK. And then I grab it and it doesn't spin. It just slides back and forth like it's supposed to. And I'm going to do the same over here. I click it to find out what the hell it is first. I click it. It's this part here. I open it up. It's that front plane. Mate. Now I click the assembly front plane. And I go OK. And I, I slide this and it's good. Okay, just keep the three assembly planes turned on. The next thing I do is I go into a component, upper base. I put it where I want it. I go rotate and I kind of get it in the, in the direction that I need. Okay, I click this and I go front, top and right. Whoever modeled this originally did not put their planes in the middle. They didn't do. They didn't use their mid-plane commands, which isn't the end of the world. I have to right-click on this, open it, and I'm going to get myself some planes, mid-planes that I have to do, put in myself. That's an extra step that you really shouldn't have to do, but it's not the end of the world. Where they put, they put them in already. Let's just delete that. Oh, they're already there already. Okay. There they go. So... I had, I had already put them in. So I'll hit sp save. And I'm going to mate this front plane with this plane. Now, 
Now, I have no idea why it, it did what it was supposed to do, but it throws it all the way down the bottom here. So what I'll do is I'll grab this part. I would love to know why it does that, and I honestly don't know why. Um, so now I have to manhandle this and bring this all the way up over to there. Which is a pain. Now that's in the center. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this top face. Come on now. You, there you go. With this one. I do not want that to be coincident. I want it to be just parallel. Okay, I got that. Now is that moving to sight? What why is this? What else can I do with this? If I click on this part here, is that in the center? No, I need to see these I need to move these parts back. It's just going to confuse you. There we go. And what am I going to do? I'm going to mate this part, this plane, with that plane. I'm hitting the green check mark. And now I can drag it down. I'm just behaving. Okay, uh, the next one. So let's turn it off. Just to be clear, if you can do this assembly and really understand what's going on, the assemblies in the CSWA are an awful lot easier. Okay, I got that. The next one is the base plane. And I'm going to mate this face with this. And it actually worked there. Come on now. And this one. With this, lovely. And that worked. And I'll go in and I'll right click and hide them with their bit they're done now. The next thing we want to do is let's get our links in. And I'm gonna put one there, one there. Well, I think I might even mirror them. Can I mirror them? I can highlight them. I can press Control C, Control V to copy and paste Control V. So I'm going to go mate this face with there and this face with there. And this face. I'm doing all the concentrics first. And here. Why is it being a pain? There you go. And then I'm going to mate this. Come on now. With that. And other thing, um, Sam, you're trying to make movies. If you make if you make a mistake, sometimes it's better just to keep on talking like I'm doing. You know, and you don't you don't continuously have to talk. People are just trying to look at your clicks that you're doing. Do you know? Yeah, they're just look. They're trying to see what I'm doing. Nobody's listen. Nobody's listening to me at this stage. Now, I'm guessing. I'm not looking at the sheet now. I'm guessing. Did I click that face with that? Malik, is that correct, is it? It's, it's this one here. <laughs> All right, now. All right, now hold on a sec. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Remember that I have you on video here, right? Now watch this. You're gonna like this. Before I'm gonna mirror these. I'm going to get um, 
the long pin. Now, which which is the long pin, Malik? Is it the top? Is the bigger okay? Okay. Now watch this. Okay, the base is the bigger one. Is it okay? The short pin will go on top. The long pin will go on bottom. Now watch this. You're gonna like this. I'm gonna select this to here. That's teaching you nothing. The proper way of doing this is let's click this part and let's again let's get one of the, the planes the right plane Do you see that and we're going to mate that to the to this plane and stick it in the center and i go okay do you see that and then i'm going to do the same up here i'm going to mate this with this And then here, uh, a short pin. I'm going to get that center plane. And I'm going to put that with the front plane. When a lot of people start um, assembling, they just completely forget about the planes and they're just going face to face. And that's just not the best way of doing it. Hold on, hold on. And I go, okay. All right, um, what's next? I'm going, this is what I want to show you. Mirror components. Components to mirror. I want to mirror this, 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 this. This one. This one. I'm going to mirror them across this plane. And I'm just going to go OK. I don't mess with it too much. Now, do I have to... I need to mate this with that. Now, hold on. And this whole thing works like it's supposed to. Now, listen to, guys, listen to me just for one second. That, that, that mirror component is a little bit advanced. That, do you remember how I talk about like doing the baby steps and keeping it simple? You're asking a little bit of trouble with that when you're doing the exam. You should be able to make that work. Just doing the basics. Okay, now hold on. Now, now hold on. In your sheets, why is this not fully fixed? Why, why is it moving? What are we missing here? What are, are we missing anything? What are we missing? I'll just mess that right up there. Hold on. I'm pressing Control Z now to undo. There we go. Be careful. What are we missing here? Why is this not fully defined? Look, look in your book. All right. Look in your book. Okay. Do you see this C here? What's this C business? What's the angle? Okay, 36, now here's your trick, guys, here's your, this is the trick, are you watching? You don't care. All right, watch this. What's the angle, I'm going to turn off this right plane, and I'm going to turn off the front plane. Okay, imagine I, have an, imagine I have a line that's going between this pin all the way up. Okay, and there's a, a line there. <clears throat> what should this angle be? 36. That, believe it or not, that's the same as clicking this face and this face. Now what it does is it makes it flat. We say no. We go over here to the angle. And I'm going to make that 36. Did you see that? And I go, okay. And then I grab it. And I try and move it and it doesn't move. That's your angle, mate. If I click on origin, look where the origin is. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you two other examples of that angle, mate. It's on the exam. You need to know how to do it. And a distance, mate. 
we go over here and it tells us on this bottom plate this is where you we want you to create your new coordinate system I'll show you how to do it it's right there isn't it the, the X is going off in this direction the Y and the Z and look I feel like I need to tell you this I, I feel like as a group you're tired and you're burnt out you guys have done well like like I typically teach this class in four months what you go what I've what I'm after dragging you through is about two months of work and you guys are still here and you're not we're not fighting each other so you deserve a pat in the back honestly I mean that now I'm going to go to reference geometry and I click on coordinate system okay you're going to do this 10 times you're going to remember where do we want our coordinate system to be right right here boom can you see where and you can't even bloody see this it's too small the z is going in this direction the x and the y can you see that you can probably see it schaefer can no, you see it's too small okay i click the x i click this line the line itself now you can see it okay now hold on a second i can see the x is going in the right way then i click the z the Z is going in the wrong way. I have to flip this. The X is going in the wrong way. Let me have a look. The, the X, the X comes toward me. How's yeah. that? Is that better? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. So you're gonna have to play around with this. I go okay. Now down the very very bottom, I have a coordinate system. Okay. Can you see it? That's basically telling SolidWorks. This is your new origin. And then I go to evaluate. I go to mass properties. It says here report coordinate values relative to default. No, that's the original one. I click on coordinate system one here. And then I come here. X is minus 1.35. Now slow down. You have to make sure whatever bloody units your, the exam tells you to be, which are what? metric you need to make sure that this is in metric in in the question we're working with now it tells you it tells you telling you now it's in inches so write this down minus 1.3353 and 3.75 so let's go to our question which one is it is it a b is it b bang on no they're not Negative. Now listen here for one second. What they're going to do is, A, they're going to give you the parts all ready to go. You need to make sure you can extract them from a zip file. B, they're going to they're going to give you they're going to tell you to do all this, and then you measure the center of mass. The next part of the question is, they're going to ask you to change that angle. So you're going to have to go back in here to this mate. You're going to have to change it to whatever. They're going to say like 50 degrees okay you might have to hit the rebuild to rebuild the assembly then you go back to your mass properties and now you're going to have to input that x y and z into the blank space do you understand okay that's what's that it is now okay so i'm going to upload this to youtube and uh and that's it it's going to be there um, I'm going to call it CSWA example number one. So I would really look over this tonight and, and practice this twice. This is, I, what, what is this? This is a money, a money example. All right, is, that's it. Is there any questions?